we can now use ChatGPT right within Xcode itself for free. And additionally, if you have ChatGPT Pro or Claude subscriptions, you can also bring them uh, or even bring your own model provider running locally on your Mac and use it all within the Xcode UI. Let's take a look. All right, so we're gonna create a new project with Xcode. And we'll just call it demo 12th of June. And you can see that Xcode has a revamped UI. Uh, the sidebar looks a bit different and all the UI elements have the new liquid glass design system. But you'll notice here that there's a AI coding assistant view and this brings up ChatGPT. So in order to get that set up, I just had to go into settings and here I just had to enable ChatGPT in Xcode and here you can add your own uh, model if you would like. So let's ask ChatGPT to make a sidebar, a sidebar with a list of restaurants in New York. So the biggest improvement I notice here is not having to jump over to cursor and then back to Xcode. It's nice to have this interface all in one. So it's going to update content view for us and then it's going to refresh the preview. And hopefully, there we go. So you can now see a list of locations in the sidebar. And if we were to build this project and actually run it, we should see that sidebar in the app. And there we go. And it's even put the name of the restaurant in the content view, which is nice. So maybe let's, uh, let's add an image for each pizza paste. Uh, so add an image to the detail view for the pizza place or for the restaurants and then it'll send it off to ChatGPT yeah, so it's going to use an SF symbol interesting so it shows which bit of code it's updated here and we've got the option to revert it if if we'd like, but in this case, I'm just gonna refresh the canvas and let's see if we can see that without rebuilding the app. Ah, there you go. So it's just got a little glyph there. Now they were demoing a whole bunch of map kit changes and also some WebKit uh, changes to easily run JavaScript. So I'm going to try and incorporate some of these as well. So let's add a map to the detail view showing the location of the restaurant. Include a marker, marker on the map with some opening hours. So it's created a plan of what it's going to do. And now it starts updating the content view. So we can see it updating live here. Aha, so we have an error now. That'll be good. So let's try to build that. I failed to build the scheme. So uh, this is a diagnostics report. So let's see whether we can get ChatGPT to fix the error. I'm getting an error. Ah, 
All right, so it's got a fix for that. It's made the fix and let's see if the content view preview is happy with that now. Hmm, still an error. Let's, uh, let's double check that we get the error when running the app. Yeah, so it doesn't actually seem to affect building the app. Although now I can't seem to actually select a restaurant. So I'm going to say when I click on a restaurant in the sidebar, it doesn't update the content view now. Let's see what it does with this. Ah, an unexpected error. Great. Let's try sending it again. Hmm. There are pending tool calls in the conversation. You must provide tool call outputs to resolve them. Is it still updating something, maybe? Can I go into this chat? This is strange. Yeah, the preview doesn't work either. No changes. Um, okay, well, let me try asking it a different way. I'm getting an error when I click on a sidebar item, the content view, well, let's call it the detail view, doesn't update. Hmm. Not sure whether I've run out of model calls or what's happening here. But uh, let's, let's try a different thing. So something they also unveiled is that if you have errors in line, so let's say I make a deliberate typo here, and now we're going to see this error here, you can actually click on it and you'll see now you have generate fix for an issue. So I can click generate and I'm really excited about this because I used to have to copy and paste these messages back into cursor, uh, whereas now I can fix them right on the go. So it's got a fix for this. All right, it's identified the typo that should actually be restaurant. Now oh, that's interesting. Map marker was deprecated in Mac OS. Oh well, let's try that fix as well. Something I've noticed when using cursor with Mac is sometimes it actually uses old APIs. Like I was rendering a chart and it actually used, <laughs> it um, rendered some rectangles manually using CG rect rather than using Swift charts. So I had to actually specifically direct it, hey, use the new API for this. Uh, so I wonder if it seems like ChatGPT has kind of done the same thing there. Oh, now I've got an error. Missing, all right, well, let's, let's click generate again and see how we go with that. All right, that must be constructed like so. This is a kind of cool little graphic here on the left, isn't it? I guess some of that glass design. All right, let's see whether we can build it or not. No. So I'm going to try and get it to generate another fix. I like how it 
is very proactive in applying fixes. I noticed when using cursor sometimes that it kind of just sat back and it's like, oh, I identified a possible issue. Would you like me to apply it? And then I had to actually say, yes, yes, I would. Whereas here, it just automatically applies it. <laughs> so it's gone back to using the, the deprecated one. Interesting. So, all right, now we can, now I can run it, but yeah, this sidebar isn't working anymore. I'm just going to go out on a limb and try something completely different and add a web view um, that loads up apple.com in the detail view for each restaurant. Use the new Swift UI WebKit API. And let's see whether it uses this new syntax that I uh, came across in one of the sessions. Oh yeah, there we go. It's using a new web view, but we've got a lot of errors here. So just for demonstration, I'll try to run it and yep, yeah, sure, we have these errors. I wonder, instead of going via each error one by one, can I say fix all the errors? All right, seems to have found some of them. And let's do that. Okay, well, it didn't. Ah, so it's already identified a fix, so we'll click apply. Interesting. And do we still have that error now? Cannot convert. I'm not sure whether we want this whole bit of code there. Yeah, okay, so now it's, you're providing a URL request. Let's just go out on a limb and see whether we can just provide something like that. Yay, going out on a limb for the win. So I'll wrap it up there. Obviously, I'd have to go in and actually inspect the code a little bit more to find out what's going wrong with the sidebar. I don't feel like doing that. I'm just vibe coding right now. But yeah, you can see that uh, we've got a good selection of uh, ChatGPT tools in Xcode now. So let me know how you go.